Hi, you've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Saturday over here in the Atlantic. The system of interest in the Caribbean has been dubbed Invest 94L since yesterday, and is now sitting here south of Jamaica as a broad low or defined of a low than yesterday. Yesterday, you can see a clear circulation center in here. Lots of westerly winds to the south of it. This line of convection here is quite literally the monsoon trough sticking up out of the eastern Pacific, and this is the only line of convergence that we have here. Lots of thunderstorms going off, but east of the center, there is some drier air in here. It's not too awful dry near the center of the system, but as you get out towards the Cayman Islands, it gets a lot drier. We can see that here on the upper level soundings. This is for Kingston, Jamaica, up to above 500 millibar level. It's pretty moist in here, really not too bad if you go to Grand Cayman. It's pretty dry above 700 millibars in here, so it's a drier air mass, and you'd want it to be moister farther up to be more conducive for development, and the system is drawing in some of that dry air, which is over here wrapping into the western side of the circulation. I think that there's a much bigger problem going on than dry air, though, um, with this system and why the models are dropping it. Meteorologically, the upper levels, the sea surface temperature, the overall environment is really not that bad for development, but I think there's a larger scale problem that is easy to miss sometimes going on. If we look at the ACE gap pass, you can see where the low is going to be. It missed part of it over here. You can see lots of westerly winds here, well-defined broad low pressure. It is very broad, but notice all the winds here. This entire area, all these winds are blue, 10 to 15 knots, and even these greens are not that strong here, 20 knots or less very light winds in this whole area. Such a broad area of light winds implies that there is no real convergence or piling up of air anywhere. If you're not piling up air, it's really hard to get it to rise forcibly, and that force, forced rising of air is what causes explosive development in tropical cyclones and their convection. If you notice down here at the monsoon trough, there's not that strong southwesterly flow that we're used to seeing in monsoonal type developments that come into the Caribbean and really go. For example, Hurricane Alex of last year had a strong southwesterly flow at the surface coming in and winding him up as he got in here. There's no such flow here. The monsoon trough sticks up sticks up in here into the central Caribbean, but again the winds are light. The trade winds here are, ex are extraordinarily lighter than they're supposed to be climatologically in this area, so we don't have that punch that's usually coming in here from the eastern Caribbean. Usually that punch hits a wall here, piles up, and helps convection fire, which is why this area is so conducive for development early in the season. We don't have that right now. So our only area of convergence is right along the monsoonal boundary where it's directional convergence, not speed convergence. We need both. Directional convergence meaning that winds moving in opposing directions are hitting each other. We also need speed convergence where air is piling up by moving fast here and slowing down, having to put on the brakes where it starts piling up and causing convection to go off. Without that, it's going to be very hard for the slow to develop. That said, since it's going to be sitting around for the next several days still in the Caribbean, um, you can't write it off entirely. Every single model has dropped it now and leaves it as a weak low, or perhaps spinning off some random thing to the northeast over here, which is unlikely to really happen. Um, despite the fact that they have all dropped it, it should still be watched because broad low pressure areas sitting down in the Caribbean over warm water should always be watched. But nothing to be really concerned about here. Hopefully we can get some of this rain over the Cayman Islands as the slow drifts northwest. Here are the models for it drifting it generally north. I like the idea that it drifts northwest for a while and then lifts either north or then northeast, perhaps northeast out to the south here, or perhaps it drifts into the Gulf of Mexico if it waits long enough and hits a weakness in here. I wouldn't get too awfully excited in Florida about any rainfall. There could be some baroclinically induced rainfall if it does actually get into the Gulf, but as of right now, this big high over the southern U.S. is keeping a lot of dry air over this area, so if it were to get into the Gulf, I would not expect it to be strengthening or have any serious tropical convection with it, um, but there's always the hope that we can get some rain up into this area. But it's going to be very slow. You can see some models like the GFDL by day 5 only have it over here towards the channel, so it's going to be down here for quite a while, so we should still watch it. But right now, chances are fairly low that this actually develops into anything significant. It's still very broad. Not a lot of convergence to get it going, so we'll have to just continue to watch it, but chances are fairly low at this point. I don't really see anything else developing down the road for the next couple of weeks. The pattern doesn't look to favor a whole lot of tropical development. After two weeks, uh, by the latter two weeks of June, we may have to watch the monsoon trough again, make an invasion into the Caribbean as the pattern will support that again. 
but for now it doesn't look like too, mi too much activity after this low goes away. So we'll just have this to watch and then not a whole lot. Remember, Junes are generally quiet. Only one out of every three seasons actually has a named Storm. So we'll just have to be patient to wait for our next disturbance to come along. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.